Kristen. You want the video? Yeah. Hi, Melody. Hello. Welcome. Okay. On the on the boom. Do you that for me or my mom? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> on the on it. What's that? Um, on the on the. There's a question. I know. Uh, no. Wonderful. Wonderful oh. to see you. Oh, okay. <laughs> on the on the info. Oh. 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 Jesse said, Oh, I am. I'll see. Okay. I'm going to go walk. Okay. Walk Come again. back. Come back if you get a chance. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's see. So far, uh, I know we're probably going to have a smaller group today. Um, so we have uh, Kathy, Lori, um, Grandma Dorothy, we have Grandma D, and uh, is Aunt Carolyn with you, Grandma D? Ha, oh, me. Ha, oh, awesome. Yes. Um, They're happy. I know, I know Carnegie. There's, yeah, there's some uh, different things going on. I know tonight, I is it tonight? There's a, there's a Kiowa language class happening, I think in Anadarko. And then there's also the outreach uh, women's dancing event that's going on in Carnegie. Yeah. Um, I did get some messages. I know Grandma Martha Nell won't be here. Um, she's down at Carnegie. Um, but uh, yeah, Alice Ann and Courtney, they said they won't be able to make it because they're down there as well. Um, <coughs> But uh, I figured uh, instead of canceling, we'll just, you know, open up our time and practice because we have this um, Kiowa language credentialing interviews on Saturday. So figured we'd take some time to practice um, today. So awesome. Where, where will it be Saturday? Um, at the Kiowa language program office in Anadarko. Oh, oh, good. Okay. Oh, yeah, it'll be pretty, uh, pretty close. So that's hey, Monday. Uh, uh, Monday inside uh, Monday. Uh, the what should I do first? I mean, as far as credentialing here, because I'm not going to be there. Uh, is there some kind of thing I can do like we did? to repeat and record? Oh, yeah, there are um, some things you can do. So um, if we me, could go, that would be awesome. Okay, yeah, we I can do could. that. I can pull up the Google Drive and we can go over, you know, where to, what you can oh. work on, you know, online. I have time now. I graduated Saturday from Bay Coast. Yay! Congratulations, that's awesome. <laughs> Yay, with honors. Oh, uh, amazing. Yeah. Get Magna, I Magnum, uh, come, Magna, come. Is it Magna Cum Laude? Yeah, Laude, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so, Very cool. Uh, that's in arts and American Indian studies. Wow, that's yeah. so cool. What'd you say? 8 a.m. high, get over. 8 a.m. Eight 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 you know a lot. I'm trying to think of how you would say you're very intelligent. I can't see. Hyundai, I'm smart. <laughs> hey, uh, right. <laughs> my, grandpa, of, my grandpa, uh, James Horn, said, always said, oh, here comes that smart girl from the city. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hyundai gets smart, like Rudy Bantista I told you one summer day, he said, Hyundai get hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 
What about uh would you say something like uh like someone who likes to think or likes to learn? Or I took I'm trying I'm trying to think of it and that's you'd say and pay and pay ya. So I your mind is fast <laughs> or stuff like that in detail, but you can't actually tell get You know a lot, so that is good. I like um, all day, hey, all day, hey. all day. <laughs> <laughs> and hold day and high day. The motema, eh? high day. You learn fast when the motema, you know, when the, the instructors on anything and embeya. You learn such a better embeya. So I think that we should be a 5G. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh hey i found it in the glossary i think oh. let me let me share my screen really quick i know we didn't like we didn't start yet but um sorry let me just share this really quick hey yes so i am i said how to say okay can you see this word here you want to <laughs> a little bit does it need to be bigger no oh. okay let me make it bigger um there you go okay let me where'd it go right here uh let's see how would you say that big yeah saw oh saw oh yeah For in, it says intelligent mentally capable or resourceful instead of someone having Good judgment. Uh -huh. I remember, remember going through this with Alicia. Oh, you know, don't ya? Even with Mr. Milton, no. And we had a time throwing that around, you know, like it's got a quick, quick mind, smart, and my language. I would say, oh, you're you're into you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> Tell our baby that when he says a word or something. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that's How a good. You, uh, I hope. How oh. would you say it, B? That in Vegas, I am or learn fast. I just, uh, yeah, how would you say that, intelligent? Uh, did you uh put intelligent in? See if they is there anything like that? Well, that anything? that was uh that was what came up. Oh, that word comes up for oh. intelligent and for uh thinking. Yeah, I guess so. Oh. So, so is uh. uh I guess industrious moving, you know. So oh, that's what you say yeah. when someone is a good worker, physical, physically. And then that's what that uses that beggar that you're mine. Oh so the other oh, is okay. physical and the other is physical and the other is mental. So okay. which one is mental? The beggar. Vegas. Yeah, this this first part and then if you just use the saw um by itself, then you're talking to more of someone who's resourceful and who can like get things done. Yeah. But uh adding the bag yeah is like your it's in your mind. You can get things done with your mind. Oh. That's Thank cool. Thank you. Uh, I know it's easy to say, all of you, and hold me but hide it. And that would be a rugged way of saying they learn fast. Hold they made half. How do you say hi, babe? Hold they. I'm talking about all of y'all. And hold they but hide it. Oh. There's no 
way to say it with finesse, I don't think. Say that. They're fully well, here's, <laughs> here, here's <laughs> what uh what Grandma Dorothy just said, the high date. I do. Yeah. That we're learning, knowing, acquiring knowledge, becoming informed, learning about. I like this one too. This is so you said whole day. Whole day. Whole day. Huh? Yeah. Whole day bait high date. Or yeah, yeah high date. So I'll whole... put that one in the chat too. Um, but okay. you'll have to look it up because uh it's got it's a verb, so you have all these ways, you know, the different conjugations depending on what you're talking about. And then we use that word opposite when they say on your high go. You know, I do not oh. know. Huh. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Dave. So and that's when you say them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And and for the pronoun, this is a mental, it's a mental verb. So we would look at uh let's see, I think I have it open already in the textbook. Let me move this over. Um if we look on, uh, I'm looking at the pronouns for mental. Looking in the pronoun charts, uh, it's a, uh, yeah, you would, but did you say bait? Or that's two of them. Um, how would you, so if you're saying you, all of you are like if you're talking to like a whole class a yeah, bunch of people right. uh let's see so the present form of mental verb is would it be from me as the teacher like so from one person to all of y'all like so uh it wouldn't be no nah, would it or <clears throat> Uh, and then it's uh, uh, and you he go yeah hi yeah when you finally understand or work something out yeah hi yeah that works yeah. kind of I was thinking about a motto for them in Kiowa the ones that go through this like I'm a go a go dot them dog and even then. When some of our Kiowa men got there, we had something for them at St. Patrick's. It's Bud Samot and uh, Dr. Tim Taylor and Dr. Bud Samot. And they got them uh, IDs for their desk. And it said, Dot Day Taylor. Because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they didn't have doctorate at Dot Day. Oh. The, oh. It was kind of cute, I thought. Yeah, that would be me. Oh. So you saw me. I'm just really, I just really thinking about it that you guys actually know how to talk Kiowa. Mm. So okay. when you're saying feeling good or wonderful, is that what you're saying is get saw me? It, saw me would be. I saw me. It's oh, like yeah. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Like amazing. Like amazing. So is it, like, is it like, um, a, like what you would say if you just heard something and you say, saw me, saw me, saw me. Saw oh, me. It's like it's an amazing thing. It's something to be um, yeah. proud of or okay. just something that's wonderful okay yeah and then it's something heroic i know because uh there's a song where it says go to good oh so many hint it's all oh yep amazing like that okay amazing it covers a lot of different 
Yeah, it covers a lot. I like that word, that though. Saw me. Saw me. It's drawn it's out, isn't it? Yeah. Well, saw me. Uh huh. Saw me. Me. Saw me. Like you say, saw. So. S A U and then me. L E. S A U and then M E. But you draw it out like me. Yeah. So oh. if you if you look in the chat, I put it in the chat. It's got the little colon there, those two dots, and so it means draw the vowel out. Okay. Like ooey, eh? No. Like you said, go ahead, go Hyundai. Hyundai gets gets so mean. No, hey, go back to it, don't hide, yeah. Like that, um, it's so me because you learn how to speak Kiowa within a year. And <laughs> I'm not good though. I mean, I, I don't even know my verbs and all that yet. So me I'm doing small words, <laughs> small words that are meaningful words. Hunde, so kind of say, Hunde, get dog, yeah. I don't know what, but is it, can we pronounce ours in Kiowa? The R, the letter R. I don't think so. We we don't know. have R's, right? We don't have the letter R in Kiowa. Yeah. This is my homegrown knowledge. I was trying to go through words and could not think of one that had that sound. Yeah, just, that's an English sound. It's an English sound. Yeah. So and then the Japanese, what is that? They can't say. Oh, they can't say. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Um, so good, uh, good vocabulary here. They can't um, say L. They say rocks of rock. Lots of luck. Rocks of rock. Yeah, they, they, I thought they could, can they say ours too? I don't think they can. No. I do not have access to all of these things like during the day, but I wish somebody would come up with a count of how many PhDs we have in the Kiowa, Kiowa tribe. Miss Mule should have that. It'd be interesting. And you people with degrees, that would be an interesting list to have. Oh. By the way, Kathy, it was nice to see you in person two weeks ago. Oh, uh, it was a beautiful time. Thank you, Grandma D. Yeah. I loved uh, sharing your birthday yeah. with you that day and and able to see you, you know, in person and and um, help celebrate your time, you know. I think it was nice to see. I don't get there that often. I live just two miles west of there, but because I can't drive, I have, I'm here in Norman most of the time. Oh, so it's so good to see. I just live two miles west of there. So it was nice to see everybody and, and uh, celebrate everybody's graduation. Yeah. Was Martha there? Martha I Bell. didn't see. I didn't see her. Okay, I thought I seen uh, or Mabel. Was yeah, Mabel, Mabel there? was. Mabel was there. Oh, see, I seen her from across the room, and by the time I got over there, I, she was gone. Yeah, she was there. That was her grandson. Then her grandson was the speaker. Oh, the from from uh, DC. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Was it at Baycone? Uh, no, it was in um, the Kiowa had that benefit uh, for the graduates. It's a oh, bank. The bank. Bank. <laughs> and then they celebrated Grandma D's birthday. Isn't it? Oh, and, uh, somehow. <laughs> yeah. I'm at the mercy of other people when I have to go someplace. So 
Oh, well, dang, if I would have known that, I would have scooped you up and we would have went. Yeah, I you know need it. to just tell me if you hear something and you say, hey, Kathy, I'm going, if you're going over here, pick me up. I do that with uh, with Aunt Mary Lou and, yeah, uh, you know, ones like that that can't get out, you know. That, yeah. and I, it was nice to meet, uh, is it Phyllis? Yeah, oh, that's um, Phyllis Silverhorn. Yeah. That's yeah. Mary Lou's sister. Young yeah. uh, Mary Lou's the baby of the Silverhorn girls, and she's a twin to Iris. Iris and Phyllis, and they're still alive. So yeah, happy. yeah. They they had brought they're eighty eight, and I brought them both together that week that day, and um, they could just kind of looked at each other like, you know, they're just they were, and then they started their little twin talk, and I was just I, was, I couldn't understand Phyllis, what they were. Your mom. Yeah, yeah. She raised me. Uh, well, she's not my biological mom. She raised me. Yeah. Yeah. They get, they, they do. Uh, yeah. Silverhorn, Tonka May, Stumbling Bear, Gaw. Uh, yeah. And we're meeting here on what time? Well, Dana will be on, huh? On night. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Melody, do you know if Dane's going to get on? Um, well, I thought he was, but I haven't seen him yet. So yeah, I'm gonna find him. He's probably grading papers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, all his uh, grading to do for his classes. Um, he might, he might show up but i thought he was gonna get on because he was gonna go over some things for you know anyone that has questions today but uh maybe he'll join us usually he joins on after seven so maybe he'll jump on here in a few minutes um but um okay well we haven't like officially started we've just been visiting so which is good um yeah. but uh let's go ahead and have an opening prayer and get started and then uh, we can kind of i think uh we want to go over some of the credentialing stuff that's on the google drive and you know just kind of prepare we have uh several of our our mentors here our our archival language credentialing board members so they can kind of tell us what 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 to expect um and then we'll see if dane uh gets on later on to give us any other updates so uh, with that, let's see. Um, um, Grandma Dorothy, Bay Dot Sai. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Looking down on us each day, we feel your presence especially when we have this meeting with our relatives and our fellow friends and there's no way of communicating otherwise and you take care of everything because you're the lord the tide of the ingoit motema. Go, hey, go. He ain't all the lures, he go, he been. The tide of the not they get on the top. I hope it don't talk. Inga, can't they eat mohema? He go get on me. I get it. They told you it. Uh, yet hide it all uh, good. I got it. It ate more time. Inga, I shan't go. It ate more time. Uh, I, I hear that. Uh, can't they? Uh, I ain't get good. Good thoughts at the. Uh, ate the. Get, get gum. Amen.
Awesome. All right, uh, let's see. So we had a few more join us. Um, so we have uh, with us our mentors, uh, Grandma Dorothy, Grandma D. We have Miss Marion. Uh, Miss Brenda is here, but she's listening in because uh, she's she's in a meeting. So there's a, a meeting going on in the background, but she's here. Um, and then for our learners, we have um, Kathy, um, Aunt Carolyn, Judith, Lori, and Ramon. And um, I also got a message um, from Nelson. And Nelson said he is at work, but he'll join us after seven as soon as he uh, can. So he'll be jumping on. Um, and let's see. Okay. Ha. Aho, Ramon. Uh, so Ramon's also listening in. Um, so he'll just be using the chat um, in case. So. Um, yeah, I figured we would use this time to answer questions, to kind of do some practice, uh, whatever we, um, whatever you all think would be helpful to prepare for Saturday. Um, so for our uh, credentialing board members, um, we have Grandma Dorothy and Grandma D on here so far. Hande um, uh, Masai Tha. Uh, Grandma Dorothy and Grandma D. Um, so I'm wondering the conversation that you're gonna have with us when you do the interviews, are you gonna use those uh, phrases that we've been studying this spring or are there other phrases that we should be looking at? Well, I don't, excuse me, I don't really know because we didn't have our meeting before this meeting with Dane. And that's oh. when he was going to finalize, it. I mean, you know, tell us. And he's not on. So oh. you just have to wing it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we will too. And I will too. So I'm not the only one. Remember, we've never done this before. Oh. Uh -huh. Very often, maybe once before. Yeah, so anyway, he may get on because I'll call Martinelle to see and I think she said that he was going to uh, put something on. I don't know uh, what or when. So, so there you are. The mentors who probably get on your high go most of the time because you can ask me how to spell or write something. You <laughs> that out yourself. I said, me too. No. <laughs> Very nice. So I was watching the elders today, and um, they record them on AOA, I guess, in the building over there when they're visiting. Do you know about that? Oh. And, uh, okay. So I noticed Aunt Mary Lou's in there. <laughs> and uh, very stubborn about, you know, the diacritics and all that, because she don't understand a lot of that. I have one question, um, and that's about, this is where I live, and they were having a big discussion about that. But it might also be, I was thinking, because of the areas, like you were saying, different areas might have different ways. So they're saying, ah, uh, oh, and it's, or he spelled it A-Y-E, like A, A-Ha, Agil, Agil, you know, but the, how you, I thought it was like, is it St. Louis? Uh, is it, is that where you come in with it? St. Louis, A-Ha, Agil? A-Ha, Agil, St. Louis. Yeah, okay. I would say St. Louis yeah, I feel. Or, or you could say Aho, St. Louis. Yeah, I feel. Aho, that's what Aunt Mary Lou was saying was Aho. Yeah. And I thought it was Aho, but it's A with the silent N. Aho. It's a nasalized. Aho. 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 
a hoth. Okay. Uh -ho. Ramon put it in the chat. Uh -ho, Ramon. Yay, With thank you. You know, if I was saying that. St. Louis, yeah, Aquilo. St. Louis, Aquilo, yeah. Yeah, you got to have the yeah on there after you yeah. say your place. Okay. Yeah, Aquilo. Yeah. And, and then, the uh, token melody then Carnegie, or uh, I want to say Carnegie, St. Louis where um, I was raised. So that Isn't would that be Akia. 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 Okay. Akia. Akia. Like, like the car, right? The yeah. Kia. <laughs> Akia. <laughs> but, uh, hard K. Kia. 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 Yeah. Kia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's that's what I that's what I think of every time I hear someone say it without the hard K, you know, without it's the pop Kia. K. Kia <laughs> like, hey, yeah. Kia, the car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. okay, with the hard K. Kia. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah, I saw that on uh Facebook. Did uh Grandma Dorothy and Grandma D, did you see that on Facebook? The elder uh, conversations that they're having at the AOA? No, I didn't see it, but I know they have them. I can uh share my screen so you can see what they posted today. That's what uh, Kathy's talking about. They had some handouts, I guess, that they oh, passed okay. around. I've been doing that. Go ahead. Who's doing that? Uh, what's his name? It's Lance. Lance White. Lance White. Oh, yeah. oh. with the language program. Uh, I work with him on the phone. Oh. Mm -hmm. Never mentions me. <laughs> no. I play Lance your song on the radio. Uh, I can play your song on the radio. <laughs> I don't want him to quote me. Mine might be wrong. <laughs> always, tell, always tell him that. You need to ask somebody else, not just me. <laughs> no, no. And, and I'm saying a Kiowa sentence it's, it, it, in exchange, like, no, no. And me, when I talk it, I know in my brain that I'm, re I'm right. Oh. Several different ways of saying it. Indeed, nobody can tell you you're wrong. They might have heard it different. Oh, that's what I was talking about. They were having a conversation about, you know, it didn't, wasn't like that, what was on the paper. And, you know, and it, so yeah. my thoughts were, it's just, they were raised in a different area. You know, they weren't all, you know, like the. Yeah. Was and I are the oldest. And I don't say. No, yeah, I would this, never say you were wrong. You could say uh, anything. Our Kiowa is territorial and you can say it different. Yeah. It, but then they it switched made, it over. <laughs> then they got off the subject, you know, because it was getting heated. No, no, and, uh, they started talking about, uh, about I know, Sunday. I know. I've said this. Oh, to I, I used to tell that to Daniel Harbor. You're saying that. Haba sort of like off sound. Oh, there's never, yeah, hoba. When you couldn't catch that uh, key. Ah. Or him, he would say, which one's the correct one? And say it the old Kiowa way or the new Kiowa way. And say they're both right, but this is how we pronounce it in our area. Oh. And D would never be wrong. She'd been talking Kiowa all her life. Oh. Marion, Mary too. All of them. Well, yeah. And then Mar Mary Lou, you know, she, you know, she's pretty up there, too. So, she, but her she ways. When she was, she was doing this when we were working, Marion. You know, she interviewed my mother. What is this? This is the uh, Facebook page where they posted those handouts. Oh, okay. Kathy, Kathy was talking about. 
Um, so let's see. This is a. Uh, oh look, they already got pictures up of what they're doing right oh, now. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can see Courtney and uh, <laughs> and Alisan. <laughs> is that right now? Oh, uh, I oh, see. Oh yeah, know. they just posted it. Put a message on there. Put vodka beat guy. Yeah. Tell them the Kiowa language class is watching. That could be guy. That means go into Our your underdog. <laughs> I need a magnifying glass. I know, right? <laughs> I thought you'd blow them up. <laughs> it's I can't can make it bigger. I don't know how to make it bigger. It's. I know it. They got there you go. Kind of just keep well, pressing that. Eating. You just keep pressing that. There you go. Okay, that's as far as it'll go. But... What is this? Yeah. I'm ready to it. Yeah. Oh, uh, go ahead, Miss Mary. Ooh. Ooh. Dang, that's bit. Okay. Yeah, you see. I didn't know so many is people didn't know how to do it. Oh, uh, sorry. I think Miss Mary. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's right now in Carnegie oh, yeah. at six o'clock. Oh, it's oh, 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 okay. Oh, I see Soodle, Miss Soodle. They were supposed to serve a, a meal at five o'clock and then start at Oh, 10. oh, uh, I don't see you're still I coming in. See any food. Yeah, I don't, I don't either. Cleaned up. And they're in red Probably. Buffalo. Oh. Is that red or the other building? Uh, I think That's it's Red Buffalo right. Hall. Yeah, Red Buffalo Hall. Oh, there's, there's a. Uh, oh, yeah. I know some of the war mothers are there. I seen them oh. earlier. Oh, Marcy. I don't. Betcha. I don't see any videos yet. They haven't put videos up there, but. Um, let's see. Marcy, I think. What's her name? Fuzzy. I seen Fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I yeah, I don't, they don't have any videos up there yet, but it says, see, it says six minutes ago. <laughs> uh, what time is it? Uh, It's seven o'clock. So they, they started, started what, at six o'clock, right? It was an hour yeah. ago they were supposed to start. Oh. Um, I don't okay. Going back to uh, Marion oh, and Dorothy, uh, I saw that sign said oh. Red Buffalo Hall. Would you say uh, Paul Gu though? Yeah. Paul yeah. Gu. Yeah. Paul. Yeah. Huh. 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 And so. Jacob told me they put something that I suggested on there this weekend. It says, Do M Pong. Do Ki Ado. Stop. We don't. We talk. Stop and listen. I'm God. And then I suggest they put something on there that says, but toy tompon. Stop and have a cup of coffee. Stop. On those sounds like that. Oh. And Jacob had mentioned that they used one of the Bible studies. I don't know, Lance didn't tell me. Oh. You know, I listened to that once Wednesday afternoon. I couldn't hear a sound, and they were fixing the video. And really, it was just <laughs> so disgusting. There was no sound, oh, and then the people were plump, plump down in this great big sofa chairs like they were stuck. I said, Ain't a hot day to go. Is it a Maya right here? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Now, who was talking about the Sundance and the and the Kiowa shirt over there? Who is that? They he said his name was uh was it um Talk Koi. Oh, my get Dewey though, but on Talk Kiowa. Stone to Koi. Stone to Koi. Yeah, that's different. Um, no, hey, it's this button. That's a blonde man. Don't oh, cool. oh. He said talk away. <laughs> he was like no. white guy. He's like white. No, I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, oh, but he was talking about Sundance. 
There yeah, it has subtitles right here. I don't have the audio on, but apparently you can go in and you can watch it. So that's cool. Um, and let me let me get out of this really quick. Uh, because the handouts here's here's what uh what Kathy was just asking about. This was today, the elder discussion. Handouts. So, can you see this? Oh. I really don't like that bracket thing. <laughs> but what? They don't like the diacritics and all that. They're just really fighting. I know. Hot so and ba. Hot so and ba thong ya. A good banma. Started at the top. Ha. A good banma. And then. Hot so and ba thong ya. Hot so and ba thong ya. Yeah. Oh, they're they're forgetting a nasal sound. And, yeah, don't. And, don't. Don't. Yeah. Hot one, but don't. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's see the next one. Here's the next one. Mesa. 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 Two, two of y'all. It's for two of y'all. You're May. talking to two people. The uh, May. Okay. And then. Uh, Oh, this is what we practiced last week. Remember, was it last week or the week before we did uh, come in and sit down? I guess you could. Mm -hmm. You said, I'm hey, big old baseball. I'm hey, big old baseball. Baseball. Is this. Or Another way to say it right here. See how they uh no. me, I think they made a mistake. Oh, uh, see, that's what they were talking about. They was like, well, we can't read that. Each yeah. Each and hey. Oh. And hey, babe. What am I? Well, am I go by stop. Come, Come here. Come yeah. here and sit down. Oh. 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 I had said it different. I said, I'm hey, big go be so. I'm I go be so. Yeah, that's what it's got on me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't I say, it doesn't, words. you don't, it doesn't have, have in. You have in, it's just you come and sit down. <laughs> and it's got you come in and I'm ah, go be so. It's not him, hey, babe, that's come in. This is uh, mm -hmm. you come in. Mm -hmm. You come. Mm -hmm. And I go by so you come. Well, now and, I know why they're getting and, all upset in there. <laughs> it is, and, it looks to me like I'm a go by so. <laughs> somebody else <laughs> pronounce it. I'm, I'm, I'm oh. I, so it doesn't have I. I hate thought. Um, so Ramon just put something in the chat and he said these were actually old uh, documents that were created a lot like back in 2016 and they didn't have confirmation from the elders. So I'm sure if if these would have been run by the elders, they would have caught it like what you're catching now. Yeah, yeah I'm sure what they talked about. So he said that uh, there's other things in the Google Drive that um, they have. They're working on correcting. They're okay. getting the them corrected. So, so yeah, these these are things that. Um, and maybe that's what they were doing. Maybe he wanted to get correct them with the elders there. You know, I don't know, but right. Yeah. Well, Aho Ramon. Those that, elders, the elders. Aho Ramon. You don't. I think today you don't have elders who know. <laughs> if you have the English version of your love, then, well, like then, Ramon then said, we can make it out. Yeah. Yeah. When we, like Ramon said, when they first started, we saw a lot of things when they had the first language fair that were not uh, correct uh, that they didn't uh, verify with an elder or someone else to make sure it was correct. Oh. And I'm sure they're all correcting him anyway. 
<laughs> I'm sure that's what they're talking about on the video if we listen to it. <laughs> they're taking a roundabout pot at me. <laughs> um, so I know this, I'm right, though. So. Huh. Oh, this is what you were reading, uh, Kathy, this one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, they were reading it, and then they're like, well, this is not how you say this is where we live. They said, Aha, A Y E H A W, Agil. Aha, Agil, yeah. That would be this. Did you get that? Where'd you go? Oh, I think it repeated. Sorry, I was pressing it to see if there were more uh, right here. Yeah, that was just it. That was the only one that, that was talked about. And then I was getting all confused. Is it <laughs> the AIN you know, the AIN call, the I, uh, A I N silent N? Huh? Yeah, the nasal eyes. Yeah. Huh. Um, if well, it's we're A I N, that'd be I. So it's A. E, a. Nasal N. A. A. Like huh. I live right. here. Uh, a E and then a nasal N. I think, I think Ramon put it in the chat earlier. Okay. All right. A. Huh. I but, wasn't. Uh, in but we're uh, we're lucky because we got the language credentialing board with us here today, so they can you know tell us what uh, what's accurate or not. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. There's that flyer, um, and then they have other their videos and stuff on here. So anyway, that's. Oh, there's the videos. So yeah. they it's post them every week. <laughs> right. Yeah. Who said the gray mask? I'm more interested in who it is. Who's that with the gray mask? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one there is Aunt Mary Lou right there. Yeah, see? <laughs> I don't know who the other woman is back there. Okay, let me let me let me stop sharing this. But anyway, that's the uh the language program uh, Facebook page. They're so. not dancing yet. Uh, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Let, me, wait, yeah, let me refresh it and see. I'm sure they're singing. It'll be good. I know. I would... Oh, they're doing something. Hold on. Let me share it. I just refreshed it. And I hope they would do something just for the class. You know, if they were afraid to get it out, then have you just join it with the class, you know. Yeah. Let's see. So this is what they just oh. posted 12 minutes ago. They're getting ready. They're eating. Looks, they like, got, they're... looks like they got some uh, lances oh. there. Girls are dressing. Yeah. Let's see. They haven't set the drum up yet. So it looks like they're oh. still eating. Yeah. Yep. Well, Still going I'm on. glad they're teaching them how to dance. All of them are accomplished dancers. Oh, I've been in that circle all my life. Mm. Melody, yeah. I read on the, sorry, Aunt Dorothy, for interrupting you. I'm sorry. I read on the their Facebook, it says, at the request of our elders, it has been decided that the event will not be live streamed. However, it will be recorded for availability for tribal members following the e event. Right. So then we'll be able to show um, it. In oh, okay. So, so they won't be putting a video on, but it sounds like they'll put something up later on after afterwards. Uh, well, that's good. Uh -ho, Aunt Carolyn. Um, that's good. They're posting pictures to just show, you know, they're what's what they're doing. Awesome. Yeah, I want a red sleeve. That's my next project. Probably is a red sleeve. Nice. 
I would be able to, right? Because of uh, Dad Tonkame was in the military. Is that how it how it works? You know, Kathy, the only thing I found at all is a, a, heaven knows I want people to learn how. But if you went back to old timey teachings from our elders, the men wouldn't have a thing to do with women's dancing. Oh. Well, Grandpa Silverhorn dropped me off in Carnegie for the gourd dancing when I was little. And he, he left. I mean, because he I guess he isn't that type, you know, he doesn't go dance. He was, you know, taking care of the bundles, you know. Yeah. But he you. wanted me to uh learn. I can't get in. So he just dumped me there. I can't get in. And I still have the shawl today that was given to me by an elder. Wow. And I don't know Great. who it was, but yeah. they came over there and they threw a shawl on me, you know, and I that's I've been dancing yeah. gourd ever since, you know. But what I mean is it's our, how would you say it? It's how we live as Kiowas. It's respect. A man isn't going to tell a woman how to dance. That's how they would take it. Well, you're right, right. No, I was saying, can I dance? Because dad, my father was in the, you know, the, in the army, in the military. So can she, anybody go and dance? Go and you know, She's she's asking if uh, she can wear a battle dress and dance at Tonkonga with the women. Yes, Tonkonga. you certainly yeah. can. I said you can. I'm a I'm an advisor, <laughs> and yes, you're welcome. You're a veteran. Oh, fireball! Or put it on and come on and join us. Okay. I, I will. Okay, you got your project, your marching I orders, Kathy. <laughs> I'm no. sure they were going to talk about bonnets too. Oh. In fact, Vanessa invited me. And um, talking about uh, feathers and bonnets, Grandma Dorothy. Uh -huh. What I did was my feather. I don't know if I'll show it to you real quick. What I wore for graduation in my cap. It's a um, it's a feather. that was getting ready to go into a, it has oh, horse hair. They got horse hair, look uh -huh. how pretty. That's pretty. And, and it has the tie of the, what you would wear in a bonnet, you know, wore a. Uh, yeah, that and then, is pretty. So that, and then you see the, the uh, thread work on there. Yeah. In the middle of the feather. feather. One of the girls got me a necklace that has that white horse hair on it. Oh, that's nice. So yeah. I was I was afraid I didn't know nobody told me anything about it. Um, it was a feather available to me, so I just put it on. You know, nobody said anything. But if somebody sees my pictures with it on and say, "Well, why she got a war bonnet feather on?" You know, it, it's not really a war bonnet feather. Or, you know, I mean, it's not a war bonnet, so it's just a feather, you know. Yeah. I'm just hoping so nobody says anything about it, you know. I, I doubt it. Nobody but you know who how it is, you know. Like, who is she to do that, you know? <laughs> so I just, I hope, I just want to show you that the way you guys yeah. know what, what I, I'm talking about when. If somebody says, well, that feather she had in her hat, you know. I tried it and it made me feel uh, like I was stepping out of bounds for six years, you know, on something I, my hand was called. So I just don't want, you know, get in. Uh, ask Marion, uh, Melody, why don't you ask the other mentors their opinion on what this? Okay. Um. Miss Marion, would you like to comment or respond to Kathy's question? What was her question? What's her question? Well, it was our um, it was already born, but I'm just saying, would uh, somebody you know disapprove of that type of feather? 
in our tribe. Which can you describe the feather? feather the you, eagle feather. Yeah, it's an eagle feather with the horse hair. You know, and it kind of looks like you know, like um, a warp on it feather. The way it's tied. Hold it up red. a little. Like go up a little. Up. You mean? No. Up. Oh, up. Yeah. There you go. And it's a long, long I'd horse. I would dance with it. It's so pretty. Yeah, I might dance that's, with it. That's just the. But it was given to uh, me a long, long time. Ago. I didn't know what else to do with it. You know, just so it's been in storage. And then my regular, uh, my regular plume, I wore ever since I was sixteen. And the bead work on that. The beadwork on that's done with that's six tens. Oh. Kathy, I think uh, Miss Marion has that comment. Go ahead, Miss oh. Marion. I was going to say that is your decision how to decorate it and if you're going to wear it. But um, usually the feather is worn by the women if it's been presented because of you know some honor, honor like the like Kiowa princess receives an eagle feather and uh, but it depends too on the family their decision about those things because we can't just you know play with but the decorations you know that's your decision because even my mother had purchased one of, um, I can't remember the name of the guy, Gintai, or I might be saying the wrong name. He must say one of those guys was uh, doing different types of thread decorations. My mother purchased one. And she said, I want this to, you to place on one of your eagle feathers. And so I told her, just, you know, fix it for me, you know, wear it. And I usually wear that like with a black lens. But um, otherwise, I just, just uh, when I really do have you know, other set, and I've always just worn them plain to create them as a little extra touch. But, um, Because our Kiowas are very artistic and they do beautiful different types of work. And so I think that's an individual decision. Oh, I hope. Oh, awesome. Um, let's see here. Uh, do we, I know I see Nelson joined us. Um, and I see Judy on here. Uh, do, I know that uh, Kathy had asked if we could look at the uh, Google Drive, the credentialing materials and see if uh, we can go over, you know, kind of some things that for anyone who's not going to be able to make it to the in-person interviews on Saturday if there's anything you can do to prepare. Um, so I can do that, but I also wanted to see, since we have Grandma Dorothy and Grandma Dee with us tonight, to see if uh, any of our candidates, anyone who's going to you know, be there on Saturday, if you have any questions for our mentors. So I'll open it up and see if anyone has any questions. Konende, I'm looking at you close. <laughs> oh. On the inside of Judy. Um, uh, I was I was just wondering and, and you just about answered our question already or mine, you know, what what to expect or 
you know, are we going to go all the way back to um, like the phrases and things we used the first time up until the present? Um, I just, I wanted to get an idea. <laughs> oh, good question. Uh, Grandma D? I would say, okay, Dorothy, I would say that you use everything that you learn. It will come up that will help you because you'll have to initiate a conversation or we will, you'll, and so you just need to remember all the, you know, words you learn, the conversations that you started with because they'll help you. That's what I do when I, when I'm trying to think of, I play the KL, the recording that they do have of Kiowa speaking just Kiowa is played over and over and that gives you a sense of, of uh, the way people, the way Kiowa think and speak. And so I would just review all that you had to learn. And, and then that way you, you'll be prepared without getting trying to prepare for a particular thing when it comes to conversation. Um, Does that make any sense? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I, is it my time now? Huh, oh, go ahead, Grandma Dorothy. I think like Kathy and Judy, take you all even even the men in the program everybody i've been noticing how up to date all of you are on your culture and your traditional things the most wonderful part is a lot of you follow that or you know about it you have keen minds just don't worry about saturday and we've all tried so hard and our prayers are in there and just like Delores said, I agree on all that. It, it'll be, it'll make you think, but y'all are all doing good enough that I have good hopes that you'll all be teaching sometime or the other in your adult life. I hope and, and carry this on for heaven's sake uh, because we've progressed so much i'm so proud of y'all and i was saying hey go about oh god go at those on my hundred on day y'all are talking kairos like pros and i'm so happy oh, so, so uh -huh. have good thoughts. i have respect for y'all because you carry your culture all the way through that's it uh -huh. Aho, aho, Grandma Dorothy, aho, Grandma D. That that's reassuring, because <laughs> uh, I was uh talking with Nelson earlier today, and uh, we're talking about how nerve wracking it is. <laughs> uh, so we're uh, you know, I'm not sure what to expect either, but we'll just go in and hopefully be able to understand you and uh, say something back that makes sense. <laughs> Talking at each to each other, just like friends to me. <laughs> but none of, us have, none of us have deciphered Conan Day. Conan <laughs> <laughs> Day, this sounds, uh, it sounds kind of bad sometimes, but I just never knew what it meant. And I know Dolores has wondered too. Konende, it's, it absolutely means nothing the way Kaiwa speech is. Oh. <laughs> but it's cute. <laughs> it's like a, a Bacoba. A lot of people, <laughs> Uncle Charlie really gets a kick out of that one, Bacoba. <laughs> <laughs> And I still don't know what Okoy Ma is, <laughs> but my elder Kai was the ones that were you could communicate with. They called their own self that a lot, or Sopotoma. I thought I couldn't do it all. 
you know, the humor is always back on your own side, but it has to come from me to me. And I laugh at myself. Oh. Hmm. I might add that if you're uncertain about pronunciation, if you could play back wherever, or you hear Kiowa and uh, just listen. Okay, so that's why I say you listen to, well, the only thing that's really more available than anything are the Kiowa hymns, church hymns. You hear they have the pronunciation, how they, and every, and all of it is war at Kiowa. It's, it's someone's testimony and someone's prayer, but that gives you an idea of how they pronounce. I mean, anything that will help you to um, pronounce. And so, and, and you do good when it comes to grammar, because I, I told you before, I would, if I had to learn Kiowa the way you are learning it, then I couldn't do it. Because I, I wouldn't know where all the markings were, and I wouldn't spell it right. And so anyway, so I'll give you, I, I'm amazed at what you, what you can do with the way you you have to learn it. So that part, it, it's good. You you understand your what your what it says and what you're supposed to how you're supposed to pronounce and all that. I wouldn't do it. I only know how because I heard it all my life. Right. And, and that's the only way I know how to pronounce it. I couldn't begin to write it. So I'm half and half. I have diacritic and half. Uh, what do you call it, pronunciation or um, phonics. You know, so it's like H-A-U, I'll put H-A-W, you know. Oh, I'm a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there. We'll all get yeah. there. That's, that's how I feel sometimes because I can write faster with uh, phonetics than I can. Right. I'm, I'm practicing typing the diacritics and Oh, it's a process. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a it's a long process, lifelong, lifelong process. <laughs> Melody, Judy had a question in the chat. What time does it start? Oh yeah, uh, good question. Um, so let's see. They said ten o'clock a.m. to two o'clock p.m. on Saturday the twentieth. It's going to be at the uh, Kiowa Language Program office in Anadarko. And I know Ramon shared the uh, address last week, so I can put it in the uh, chat again. Let's see, did I already do that? I might have. Uh, I think it's five, isn't it 516 uh, East Central? Yeah. Oh. Awesome. Oh. And uh, I think uh, from what Dane said last week that uh, it's kind of a, you can either show up at 10 and stay the whole time. He said that uh, they're going to have, they're going to serve breakfast and lunch to whoever's there. And if you do plan on attending, make sure you let uh, Dane know. Um, I think last week Dane got a count of, I think there were four of us that said we were going to be there. Um, so they can know how much food to prepare for people. So make sure you reach out and let Dane know that you wanna, you're, you're gonna be there. Well, maybe let the office know. Huh, that's probably better. Uh, Ramon, yeah. would they uh, call you or call the office? Uh, oh. do I? The language program office. Can it be called or will it be open? Is that what you're asking? Oh, no, they're just wondering if uh, like, how do they, cause since Dane's not on here right now and I know he was trying to get a tally last week of how many people were gonna show up. Could could they just call the language program office and, and confirm like RSVP that they'll be there on Saturday? Yeah, if uh, if you want, um, Faye's, note, 
uh, phone number and I can put it in the chat here. Um, oh, awesome. Let's see. Respond if you please, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so there's the phone number. Um, and I'm sure if you let them know, um, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure they'll have it open, but um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not in Oklahoma right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so we'll just, uh, Aho Ramon, we'll put um, that number is there. You could also, uh, I, if you have Dane's number, you could also text him and let him know. Um, so I think he's gonna let uh, Lily know. Um, I want two fry breads instead of one. <laughs> oh. Melody, Melody, I I thought at some point when we were talking somewhere that uh, that Dane was saying that anybody could come whether they're going to take it or not. That way they could help one another. Whoever uh -huh. was there could gather there, but if you're not necessarily going to be credential, you could come just to uh, fortify what you know and what, and then someone may, you could ask questions of each other, the candidates, I mean, not necessarily, but just be there if you want. I thought that that was said at one time. Oh. Maybe not, not on this program, but somewhere, yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right, Grandma D. She, uh, he did say that last week. He said, uh, if you're curious, like what it's like, then he said, just show up. And, you know, even sitting there and visiting, you can kind of like listen and, and watch how people are doing it and um, get to talk with each other and see other candidates. So, oh, you're right. And somebody asked you, when are we starting again, or is this the last meeting? I think it was Nelson just now. Oh, yeah, uh, good question. So we, um, let's see, we planned to go all the way to the end of May, um, but uh, we could make today the last meeting, or we could make next Wednesday the last meeting. Um, but uh, at any rate, we plan to go through the end of May and then pick up again, you know, when school starts again in August. So that way, uh, I know the summertime gets pretty busy for people. Okay. That's so, when I get less busy. So that's what I was good. Thank you, Cricket. I was going to say, so this weekly Zoom on Wednesday night will not be going until we start again in August, you're saying, Melody? That was the original plan. Okay. Um, so, but we can, you know, based on people's feedback, we can revisit that if if people are interested. I just, you know, wasn't sure how many people would be interested in like a summer session. I also know Dane, I think Dane said he's having a summer class at OU on online. And I know that he's always invited us you know, to listen in if we want to, to his classes too. That'd be awesome. So yeah. we're supposed to, because the other credentialing time is in August. That's what I was that. getting at. So if we're not going to be meeting weekly, then we need to probably like Cricket and I could meet and practice because we're here in Norman. We just live a half a mile apart, but the other people aren't, won't have that ability to meet like cricket and i can um if if we need to because that's when i'm less busy so i could run a zoom um and just you know use the stuff that you have already um melody and then what we have posted up there we could just practice on study stacks and we can just unless you want to keep running it melody um that i mean it it well, I want we're to focus still, on what we're, we're being we're, uh, we're still meeting um, for our Monday class. Uh, it just is just going to I don't we're just going to keep meeting. Whoever shows up, shows up. And so that'll still be happening um, every second Monday. And uh, 
Um, but as far as like summertime, that's better for me. Um, and uh, I mean, I could keep the time the same, um, but uh, but if you want to keep running it, Melody, I'm happy just to join. And oh. did you wanted to know what the menu was? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> that's what I've been doing. I want to know the menu <laughs> before I'm I commit. Yeah, <laughs> food. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Perry said. He's like, did I think I'm a rabbit? They put no, I'm on the <laughs> yeah, it was, it was Are so they feeding? <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, they are. They're feeding breakfast and lunch, is what Dane said. So I was hoping with the summer going into the August credentialing, maybe we can get a little bit better um like structure on what we need to know exactly you know i mean down to you know the phrases or um and then melody you're gonna help me find out today what we what i need to look for for online if he wants uh us to repeat things like we did last time you know remember we had to hand in oh um yeah so i think uh so i had i had scheduled these classes like to kind of focus on conversational skills um to lead up to this credentialing opportunity the interviews on saturday um so that's what we've been doing since uh january for this spring but um if if people if there are still people that want to focus and really you know what i'm interested in i would love to practice with all of you the grammar like i want to practice more with like the nouns pronouns and verbs and like get comfortable with that because that's a piece of the credentialing that i'm not as comfortable with and i'd like to be able to keep but you know this springtime we've just been focusing on our conversation and just talking with each other you know um, but there's other things we could practice, like we could, I know we have a bunch of resources around kinship terms, like those flashcards that Aunt Carolyn did a few years ago. Um, like there's lots of, you know, there's study stacks, there's things we could focus on. We can also use breakout rooms in Zoom. Um, so it's whatever, whatever will help. I just don't want to waste people's time, you know? <laughs> yeah. And now that you said kinship time. Just like today, I can present it tonight and give you something to think about. Kinship wise, I just thought of a word I know we've never taught and that's um, your in-laws, your daughter's in-laws, they're, they're not kin to you, but but with, with Kiowa, the old Kiowa, it's Ankonda. In-laws? In-laws, yes. In-laws. Yeah. And that's a new word to me. I haven't used it in ages. You know, my my daughter's in-laws would be my uncle. And it's not a new word. It's one of the most ancient words we have. How about her sons and and this oh, would be that. sisters, I mean, daughters, daughters, daughters. daughters. Your daughter or son, their in-laws. Oh, daughters, daughters or son. Daughter 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 son. Okay. okay. Oh, God. It's just oh, something God. to put. I'm sure your parents and grandparents use that term, but it's going to get lost if it's not in the glossary. Okay, we need to add that then. Oh. Because that's not in there. You, you want to go on study stacks? Like show what, it? Or did you have a, a thing? Um, I think uh, what Kathy had a question about, because she's not going to be, and I know I don't know if Lori, if you're going to be there on Saturday, but um, if people aren't going to be able to make it on Saturday, we were going to look at the Google Drive really quick and just show them what folders to oh, okay. that they could work on. But okay. um, we could uh, continue meeting. Um, and Cricket, if it works out, um, we could, uh, I'm fine with, let's see, I could create, well, we could use the same Zoom link, um, but uh, 
we could take turns facilitating if you want. Um, that way we can get uh, different perspectives if you want cricket. Um, but uh, I I would love to like practice more with whoever wants to on the grammar, like the nouns, pronouns, and verbs, and like try to figure out like who I'm talking about or to. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, we did that. Um, we, so we studied kinship last Monday and uh, <clears throat> did we did, um, what was, which ones did we do, Carolyn? Talking. My. Oh yeah, my and yours. Your, and then you yeah. mentioned his and her, which is. Yeah. But we didn't do the calling too. So we were going to work on that next Monday. I mean, not next Monday, but, you know, next month. Because we only meet once a month. Oh, and yours is on Mondays, right? So there, it doesn't conflict. It's just, it's once a month though. Just second okay. Mondays, just only okay. one time. Because we can, we can keep Wednesdays. I mean, Wednesdays okay. are kind of like my Kiowa day at home anyway. So <laughs> All right. <laughs> Used well, to that. Well, yeah, that sounds good to me. Me too. Uh, awesome. Um, so as long as our mentors, you know, don't mind, you know, don't mind us as we like try to practice our verbs and grammar <laughs> and kinship. Um, so, okay, well, we could, I could send out a little email uh, do, and we could, do we want to start that next week? We could start that next week if we want oh and then just yeah because then we'll kind of have an idea after you guys go through you know uh the process we'll have oh. an idea and you'll kind of get to lead us in that and um and we'll um i was thinking using steady stacks because you know that's what dane made it those extra things for was for us to study for the credentialing um you know the kinship and the grammar those two things are on there. And he says we have to do the one in English. And then we have to put it in Kiowa. We have to say all the things in Kiowa. Oh. So if you go on the kinship and study stacks, but if I mean I can show you that after we finish. Okay. Yeah, why don't why don't you because that way uh Kathy and Lori, because they're not gonna be there at this one in person, mm -hmm. they can at least be working on that. Yeah, um, I can show you how he said to study it. Okay. Um so before I turn it over to you, Cricket, I wanted to um turn it over. Wait, hold on. Here we go. Oh, he's not on here. Ramon had a question, but he's uh he's driving, so he got kicked off the Zoom. So oh. he, if he logs back in, I'll give I'll turn it to him because he had a question he wanted to ask our mentors. Okay. Um, so we'll see if he joins. But um, let me uh, share my screen and show the Google Drive really quick. And then Cricket, okay. you can show the study stacks. Do you, you want to show them how to get on it? Like show your process of getting on because sometimes that helps. Yeah, yeah. OK, let yeah. me. Let me so find. like show them how you have to click on this then click on that then get to that. Okay. Sometimes that helps because if you're not familiar with Google Drive, it can seem you, you, you can like get lost. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so here is my email. Can you see my screen? So here's my email. And so to get to the Google Drive, I click on this over here and then I go to Drive. And then I click on that. And so here's all my Google Drive folders. And so to find the credentialing one, you can go to this right here. It says shared with me. And then you look in your list here. It'll go by the time, how, how long ago it was. But I just usually scroll down until I find it. I always just um, put credentialing up in the search drive. Yes. Okay. So to do that, you would just go up here to the search and type in credentialing. There it is. And here's your list. And so it's this one that says credentialing study material. And it says the owner is Dane. So that's the right one. So you'll click on that. And OK, so here's here's what's in there. And that's everything. Um, let's see. So let's see. Uh, 
So Lori, I think Lori, this will be your, are you going for level one or did you already get level one? I think Lori, you're going for level one, right? Level one. Okay. So for level one, Lori, you'll have to do this uh, teacher candidate credentialing checklist. Oh. So get started on that. Um, there's videos that you'll have to watch and then surveys to take. So that's something you could work on um, to get because you just watch the video and then you click on this link and then you answer some questions about the video. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and then you would email this uh, list once you have it all completed up to here. Um, you complete this and you would email it to the Kiowa language program to, um, to I think it's Lily that, is it still Lily? Let's see, I don't think Ramon is on here. Let me see, get it back on. Yeah, Lily Pinnell is the, is the language program director. So we would email it to her. And so you would email it to her and just say, hey, I'd like to uh, get credentialed. Um, you could also copy Dane um, for the language board. And then, so they'll get this. The language program has to verify that you've completed all these things. Uh -huh. and, then, um, and then you would schedule the interview so if you did all this like in the next month or so, then you could you could have all this done and then be ready for August to do the in-person interview. Um, uh -huh. so, so that's the process for level one. So if you've never done it, that's where you would start. Um, so this is a, another one who's going for level one is Tim, uh, Mr. Yegu, and he's not on here tonight. I know they got lots of stuff going on, but um, He's, he's also going to be working on that checklist um, for level one. Um, okay, so let's see, which one? I think it's this one. So this is for level one, and this kind of helped, um, helped me when I was getting ready for level one. It tells you the four things that you have to complete for level one. And this is for the Kiowa language portion. So you still have to do that checklist, which is the professional development. And then for the Kiowa language part, you would need to do these things with the language credentialing board. And so pronunciation, you follow those instructions, kinship, follow those instructions, and then grammar. And then the interview, which is what they're gonna have on Saturday and in August. Um, so that's level one. And now Dane said that he's working on a level two checklist, but he doesn't have it yet. So <laughs> for level two, the best way to do it is um, to look here and start with portion A, which is the conversation. Um, so if you're level one, you would go here. So everywhere it says level one, you, that's where you would start. You would go there, you would download the, um, resources and, now, and be sure to download it onto your computer don't just open it up download it on your computer then open it back up after you've downloaded it on your computer because you won't be able to hear the sound oh um and the the one that you'll so if you want to see the kiowa like the written kiowa and hear it you can click on the one that says kiowa but the one that they're going to use for the credentialing is the English version, and we have to say it in Kiowa. Um, so that one, you know, is you can study that. So click on download, and then it'll download. I don't know if you'll be able to see the download. Probably not when it pops up. Um, so anyway, yes, like Cricket said, make sure you download that. And then let me go back. Uh, portion A. Okay, so that's the first part is preparing for the conversation, which what we've been doing this spring has been preparing us for the level two conversations. Level one, Lori, you'll probably think it's pretty easy because <laughs> yeah, that's stuff that we've been doing like all year. So uh -huh. um, yeah, I think that, you know, hopefully you'll, you'll be uh, comfortable with that. But level two is kind of what we've been doing this springtime. Um, and I hate, I hate the pronouns the worst. Ha! Oh. <laughs> so that's the second level is the grammar. And so Dane has it here for the uh, level one, all the grammar. 
So, so this would be for level one. You can go in here and practice. Now, Dane said that he's working on a level two grammar. He doesn't have it up yet. He's going to work on it, you know, in the next couple weeks for us. Um, so we can prepare for level two grammar. Um, so, but if you're level one, you can start with that. You can do that. Um, the next one is pronunciation and spelling. So level one, you go here. And so you would download this document, download that document, and you're going to submit the pronunciation. So see how people have, so like me and my daughter and everyone who went through credentialing last year, um, we uploaded our recordings because you have to revoice. You have to record your voice saying the Kiowa words um, in those in that PowerPoint, and and then they'll give us feedback. Dane Dane plays it for the language board, and then they give us feedback and they kind of grade us on it, and then let us know if we have to do it again or you know what we need to work on. So that you would download this. And then when you re-record it from your computer, you can submit it and then you email or text or call Dane and say, hey, I submitted it. Can you tell me, you know, give me feedback. Um, for level two, for level two, uh, so Kathy, um, this is something that you could work on is you would pick, you could read one of the stories that are in this folder and the audio recordings are with them. So you can listen to the recording, follow along with the written document, and then record yourself reading in Kiowa and, and see if you can say it the same way as the speaker in the recording. So that's, that's, one, that's one of the things. So you can choose one of those stories or two of these. And so you can choose two of uh, Miss Gonzalez's uh, story and songs, and then her recordings are right here for each one. So depending on what you want to do, you either do one of the stories in this folder or two of these in this folder. And then for level two, the other thing, Kathy, that you could work on is download this PowerPoint right here that says revoice and then oh. record yourself saying it um, and then submit it to Dane. You can email oh. it to Dane. So that's another thing you could practice. This is what um, is probably the most time consuming part. Right. <laughs> Right. Okay. I could work on them then. Nice. Oh, I got to go. Um, fit, got them. I got, I, I know where to find them at now. Not lost. <laughs> awesome. Um, Dane also has examples here on spaced repetition. If you want to use that to practice as a study method. Um, so there's a recording examples there. And then the last thing is the family chart. So these are the Word documents that you can use as reference, but it's like everything all together in one document or two documents. And they're two different formats, but there's a much easier format. So I will um, hand it over. Cricket, are you able to share your screen? Yeah. Okay, let me stop sharing. And Cricket's gonna show us uh, study stats and how you can practice the kinship using that. Okay. Uh, oh, let me open it live. Okay. Okay. So um, just go to your, your Google Drive and um, let's see. Open up. I can't see my little bars in the way. Okay, there it is. Then open up a tab and then you write in study stacks. And then you go to the flashcards and you type in Kiowa. And um, so the here's, you'll see where uh, Dana's put in a whole bunch of stuff for us to use to study with. And you'll see zero level, that's people, not us, um, that maybe just went to familiar sites. This is open up to anybody in the world that um, has the internet. So anybody in the world that has the internet can get on here and um, and uh, and put um, 
and uh, put this, you know, type this in and see. So they might want to go, oh, let me see. What does Kiowa sound like or something like that? You can't hear any sounds on it, but they want to know, you know, a little bit about Kiowa. So they would go to probably the zero levels. And then um, the ones in level one, you're going to be hearing it in Kiowa. And then you'll tell what it is in English. The ones in level two, you'll hear it, uh, well, not hear it, you'll look at it in um, English, and then you'll have to switch to Kiowa. So you'll have to tell what it is in Kiowa. So let's go to kinship. Here's level one and here's level two. So we'll try, I'll show you level one. So it's flashcards. And those are the main things that you that I would study on. So what so what is this? So he's gonna pull this up. And if you, if you guys gotten in a uh what are those a uh, breakout room with them, he's probably helped you with this or done this with you. But um so what does nop e mean? And you'll tell him what it means. So um level one, Miss Lori. Um, what, the, what is the main thing that this is? So what are they talking about? Sister. Yeah. So you flip the card and it says sister or great grandmother. Okay. So you know that one. So then here's the next one. Cause this is the female version, right? So we're only doing the females right now. So then you'll do this one. So, uh, Kathy, you already know this one, but, but his, her brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you can if you kind of make it even more specific. You can talk about my brother, um, your brother, his or her brother. So how's that? Or great grandfather, too. OK, so that right here, he's just wanting that. But it is saying those things. Let's see what the next one is. Can we just do that one? Uh, oh. OK. Just do that. Why does it keep doing it? Why is it doing that? Okay, I guess whatever. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, na thal or ta toy or ta. Lori. Father. There you go. So that's all that one is. And then um if you want, oh, I didn't mean to do that. If you want to go to um the next one. Then you want to do level two, then the next, then that would be in the kinship one. So I'll show you that one. Let's go back. Female version. Female version, yeah. Um, that's male. Here's female too. There it is. Mm. Okay, so then you have to say this. <laughs> so my sister. So, Kathy, do you want to say that one? No. Oh, there you mm -hmm. go. And also, then here's the proper term for great grandmother. E day. E day. Okay. And now, this, so in level two, you're going to have to be more specific. So that says na. So then this one you would say. I uh, mentioned. Uh, I mentioned uh, Dolores in my prayer with that word. Um, no, be a tide, Ode. Oh. Be with my sister. Tide, Ode. All right. Uh, 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 where, does, where does Pishan come in? Pishan. I think that's going to come up in just a second. It's a new little bitty sister, your new great one. Oh, so, so her sister is still up. Yeah, that adds that day, day, or day onto it. Okay, so oh, okay, let's see if it and, has that one. Okay, now you're the, calling to your sister. Oh, and just so you know, there's some tricky things in here. <laughs> so, what are you gonna say? He's trying to trick you. Call him by name, don't you? Yeah. You just call him by name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were on here. Oh, Sorry, I would have been calling on you. <laughs> um, all right. So anyway, so there's those things. Anyway, and, so that's so that's that. 
I'm not, correct, I'm not correcting you, but a lot of people say "api." It's e. Yeah, e. have that that pop in it right there. So, um, let's see what else do we have. So that is um, that's the kinship ones. What were some? Of, I think. Oh, we have grammar. So let's see. Let's go to the grammar ones. Oh, the conversation ones are really good too. Let's see, that's conversation zero, conversation level one and two. Let's try that one. So I don't know if he's well, wanting yeah, us I, to. Yeah, I don't know what he's wanting us to do. Yeah, I don't know. He's wanting he's to answer. To okay, answer. so you have to answer these. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Gaya. Hi, get off. Do you understand? Oh, yen hai or han yan hai go. Oh, huh. Okay, I see it. Now. Okay. Flip the card. Yep. Okay. Let's do the next one. I'm going to, oh, yeah. Do you know Kyla? So then you would say it, what you you answered. Oh, Sunday. Oh, yeah. Oh, going to, oh, yeah, right? Good. Yeah. You should see my phone. I don't know. I got it on my phone. I don't know if you could see it. Anyway, with the last, it has blocks and question marks in it. So I'm going to have to <laughs> figure out where to go on a different computer with this. So there's that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Phones, you, yeah. you probably do not want to do steady stacks on your phone. It doesn't hardly work. Right. Yeah. You're going to want to do it on your computer. Um. So anyway, so those are things like that. Anything you want to add, Grandma Dorothy? Are you on? Or anybody else? No, not, not really. I'm just glad. I'm so glad this is going to continue. I'm around all summer. So. Oh, awesome. Are there any we questions or you going to look at something we, else? We haven't got the menu yet for Saturday. Yeah, what's the <laughs> menu? Is Ramon still on? Oh. Um, Lily, I will round steak. <laughs> no, I'm not coming in. <laughs> I get I said fry bread. I, I get enough of that, man. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I think Lily said it's four that are credentialing, but there's more that are coming. Oh, I have a question. I have a question. Oh, we need to do guys. Nelson's on here. Cool. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no that's okay hey uh for i have a question uh uh i used to hear the word talo talo but uh i i don't hear it no more yeah i know it uh, uh I, what what hot's on hot dog yeah it says toddler a little boy talo oh okay i thought it was like a, a older boy in between uh tali and uh, togo Okay. All right. Thank you. So a toddler, toddler boy. Yeah. When they get about, you know, tallo, they're just little bitty bouncing little, cute little boys. I walk. I The little rabbit size. What did you say, Miss? It's tallo. Marion. Marion. I was trying to find her. A little walking there, hop, eh? cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like Dorothy said, little rabbits. Yeah, they're just cute. Just learning, learning. Start learning the first words. Oh. Is there an equivalent for a little girl, Dorothy? My turn. How would you say that? Dolores, is there anything for a young girl? I don't know. That's why. I, I don't know. I, I don't know that there is. <laughs> See. Just my turn, Sean. Yeah, my turn. My turn, Sean. Um, 
There was a, they used to sing, a, a, the Miss Grandma Kibone used to sing one to Butch Tohey, a, a little, for a little boy. And it was just a little bit of made up words when it says, Bush on Zale Bush on Zale That's little, and he's Zale you know, when she'd bounce him on her shoulders. And he went all of his life, and everybody called him Bush <laughs> And it meant nothing but a little boy. A lot of times the, the pet names stick like that. He, his his uh, adult name was really Domba Asoy. They set him in the place of honor. It's your kinfolks, Cricket. Hot title. It, it, you're talking. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think. My turn, Sean. I see, how would you say that? How would, I think Talo is so cute when you call the little bitty guy that. Tali Shang is the formal. And Talu is, it is ink. I'm pulling Talu all around on his harness. And... Aww. <laughs> now he's got to wear a turn harness. This guy, I know. You don't want him to get lost in the airport. <laughs> you know, know, that age. <laughs> That's scary. That's the only time I used a. Uh, uh, one of those leashes was when we were in international airports and, and my kids were toddlers. <laughs> yeah. that, that's too scary. Oh. Okay, na kongi or kong te. Kong te. Let's see, that was old man. And an old man is a captor. And I think I reached the status of on a taunt on here when you're a real old woman, and it, Dolores. But oh. I don't, I don't feel like it though. I don't feel like I'm a spider. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like I'm um, spider. <laughs> <laughs> and now they say they come to outside. Though. I don't want to pray to get old. It's no good. I can be holding a darn towel and drop it. Just, uh, I, I look at myself sometimes. Just drop a pen or something. And I know I'm conscious of it. That's why I'm so glad to take these. It refreshes my... I go pain, though. Oh. <laughs> I go pain means no brains. <laughs> Uh, oh, hang. But I can remember something 50 years ago. I told this story. They're teaching now that Florine and I how to drive, Dolores. Roland filled it, put the gas in the tank and he let us go in the field. And we, had to, we drove in a circle till we ran out of gas. <laughs> Those had clutches. All of us old guys grew up on stick shifts. I bet we can out, out drive y'all. Yep. I had to learn on a stick shift in Washita. <laughs> <laughs> My kids oh. had one of those. I, I think this is nice. Um, like we don't always hear this because people just say Kong, you know, like calling too. Um, but a Kong Yoy. Yeah. His or her grandpa or grandchild, grand grandchild. Anyway, I just got What I was working up to is the translation. Automobile. Mm -hmm. Automobile is car in Kiowa. Automobile. Automobile, and we got as close as we could. But it, it's an official word for a car in Kiowa. And we say "comese" for our commissioners. Isn't that something we in the home, huh? Iron tie for a fence, because we didn't know what a fence was. Haunt, huh? Uh, 
Well, so, we're on term, well, they were on these kinship terms. There's a term that I think I'm correct. Sa te. Sa te. That's, yes. Uh, that's a uh, grandfather's, that's what uh, a girl's grandfather calls her husband. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there is a, it's the way I grew up. My, my mom and my dad called each other Hank. It has no Kiowa meaning, but I've also heard Henry Tenedo and his wife, the Keybones, when you're calling your companion, you say, how's about fatal though, hey? And there was more respect than I've ever toward a, toward a companion. But I always heard that all my life when I knew my daddy was addressing my mother and she wasn't inside if she was in the other room or something. And that's a raw Kiowa from a long time ago. Oh, oh! Hey. I heard my, I heard my grandma, grandpa use that word all the time. Yeah, they spoke Kiowa to each other every day. Hey, yeah. and it uh, was, and my grandma, what he would, when he called my grandma, if he wanted something, he would just say, "My ye, my ye." <laughs> 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 So like if I call my husband, then I, you know, when I, if I'm talking, he, hey, 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 hey. it's got the nasal sound in it. Hey, and it was hey. spoken quite a way around Buzzard Creek, around that area, Redstone. It was a, uh, it didn't mean anything, but I know you all have names for your companions. Yeah. <laughs> You just don't say E. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I'm saying A no. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll tell you. I think this is so his grandma. His dad, his dad's mom. Atal Yoy. It's not ta just Tal Yi. It's Atal Yoy. I just think that's neat. And then what do you say when you call your grandma? Say, Tali. When you're talking to me straight, you say, Tali. 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 Calling to. Oh. That's what the next one we're going to do on, on our Monday. And if you're referring to us, you say, Tante. Tante ain't date. Mm -hmm. They're talking about my my grandma, or you know, you're talking about your own grandma. And then you would say Tante Tola, don't you? Melody, work that out. Let's see. Good. Say those, Melody. What are they? There's um, three. Tante. Tante Tola, don't you? Tante ain't they? Tante don't they? Tante don't they? This is what grandma said. Oh. So those are uh, those are the flashcards. And um, so you can just keep and then the he has grammar. So that was kinships and conversations. And then if you want um, if you want like just you want to increase your vocabulary with nouns um there's like colors there's numbers there's food we have um clothing there's greetings um that we did that a long time ago remember grandma dorothy yeah and grandma how many grandma how many are you from Grandma Tsapai. How See, many? I, e? Yeah. I, <laughs> I referred to her as Tante. You know, it's just one. Okay. Tante. 
It was the best lap and the best storyteller. <laughs> I love it when you tell stories about my family. Everybody at a grandma, they remember how that lap felt. Mm -hmm. So here's the, all the, if you want to go over the conversations and all those lessons that are on there, they're on here. And um, let's see, I know we have some for, then I think it starts getting into like other people have put stuff up. It's not just us that put stuff up. So, um, oh. The other one, let's see, what was it? Oh, grammar, yeah. that's what it is, grammar. Where's For the, the grammar? credentialing, um, if you go in that search bar and just type in D Pula, um, then like right there where you have the Kiowa up on the, in the search bar at the top of the page. Hold on, I gotta move it, yeah. Yeah, right there. If you just uh, put in D Pula, then that'll pull up all the credentialing stuff that Dane put on there. Um, if, you know, if, if you want to, uh, specifically look at the different, just levels. look at what he's posted. Yeah. 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 So, so instead helps. of putting Kiowa, you can put D, D Pula. Oh. Where's the level one? We have level one and level two on the grammar on here. Where is it? When is the cred credentialing? I know it's the 20th, but when is the 20th? Saturday. Saturday. This, Saturday. this Saturday. Here it is. Here's some here's credentialing. Oh. I mean, I mean grammar. So just remember so we could practice, we could practice these like in our in you know in, on our sessions on Wednesdays. So we that's can that's what I'm talking. That's exactly what I yeah, exactly <laughs> this. So house I saw it. Oh so uh Let's see. Oh, this is the, uh, uh, what is it? Ah, where is it? So Gabon. Gabon. Okay. So Gabon. Oh, I want to hear if he, if he has something here, what this sounds like. Oh, it doesn't show anything. It doesn't let us hear anything. How come it doesn't have a thingy? Why doesn't it have the answer? House, mm -hmm. you saw okay. it. Like my name, my surname, my huh. word is Saint Idy. And if you translate it, it's horse what? You can't hear it, Cricket? No, oh. did you hear it? No. No, it's House not. You saw it. Oh, oh. <laughs> that, yeah, oh, but not the, not the Kiowa. But it oh, doesn't know oh, Kiowa. It doesn't, oh, it's it won't. because it's, uh, he says it's unfinished up there. Yeah. And he's still he working on it. Oh, okay. Well, we used to have it. That's what I don't understand. We used to have grammar. Oh, maybe it's on the next oh, page. It's this one. Oh, yeah, the level is two. This? Yes, there it is. Okay. Okay. How here it is. Level. Did they change it? Is it the thaba or the bon? I think it was bon. Think it was oh, thaba. He might have not changed this one yet. Oh, thaba. Thaba. Hmm. Oh, wow. I mean, hi, I go. Well, I we know. can we can ask we can ask him. He might we might get Dane to join us next week. <laughs> well, we can ask him when we see him on Saturday. Oh, that's right. Let's see. Um, that's, hey, the yeah. same, that's the same thing with you. Remember where he has uh, shoes Thoden and Thalba. Well, he finally changed to you know Thoden and Boom. Yeah, he changed it to bon. So may, he maybe just didn't go in here and change it on here. Because mm -hmm. I was practicing on this. Let me see what this one is. Brenda, what did you need, honey? There it is right here. Um, Miss Brenda has a, um, a comment in the chat box really quick. So she said that Kane uh, Day uh is could mean well of all or well i never something like an expression 
Is that is that is that accurate? She's asking. Ah, King God, they boom. What is that con name they Dolores? Completely stumps me. Well, I'm trying to think it's uh <clears throat> It's a expression that when somebody does something, you say, yeah, just like Brenda said, well, well, you know, you could just say, well. <laughs> or if I do something kind that's of shame. Way that, yeah. If you tear it. <laughs> well, it means if you, uh, you could, over, someone could overdo something, you know. It exaggerate something, something that that's overdone or anyway. Then you that's what you say. Well, yeah. Ask Marion. Yeah, say Anna, Anna, Anna. Anna. We should endorse. Anna, Anna, Anna. Anna, Anna. I never did say that. Great mother did. The hey, older hey, ones. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I just say, oh. Yeah. Oh. Or they would say, what does that mean? It's a it's a expression of surprise. Da. Or mm -hmm. It's just going kind of funny. Never did hear those or no. You know, don't. Undeselbe. That's used more in the Kaiba language in my time. Undeselbe. To, to uh, express bravery, to express nerve, to express a, a crotchety little child. Or lift, uh, or somebody that's monsey. At Zelbe covers it all. To mm. having a strong heart in war. Hmm. Honey, honey, Tena Zelbe got yet to to ya. He's got a strong Zelbe heart to go to war. And then, to ya pa he Zelbe, see. Take your baby home. He's a little too noisy. He's a little bay. <laughs> and the uh, power culture tapes, they were speaking about their experiences at Rainy Mountain or in school. They didn't necessarily. Anyway, this lady was talking about how, <clears throat> well, time she had because she didn't understand English and then how she ran from her teacher when she was trying to correct her and she jumped on the table. And then she, when she got to discover and she said, Honda Zelbe, a dog of good dog. Honda Zelbe, a dog of good dog. No, I'll, you know, when you're Honda Zelbe yourself and she's in school, she said, I'm yes. Zelbe and I'm in school. It's another, Hate la dog. Or we'd say, a ho de a dog. I compare ourselves to somebody that was well known and cultured and everything. And that's when it's self, you're putting the humor on yourself. I never knew of Kaiwas to put humor on someone else. It's always on your own. And to me, that, that describes humbleness. Well, what's the same thing? Yeah, Zail. <laughs> Same day. Yep, that does it. I said, my kid, one of my boys said, what does Zail day mean? And I said, it's Zail day. And so, Manko, Manko, come. They, uh, they could be in Sata. I said, y'all go ahead and read. I'm going to go eat my dinner. Oh, um, I think Ramon had a question. Okay. Oh, um, so uh, I was reading in Harrington's book, 
um, I was trying to figure out how to say um, uh, I'm homesick. Uh, and it had it as um, a thousand a dog. You're lonesome? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm lonesome or I'm homesick. A thousand a thousand a Or yes, I'm homesick or a all, yeah, koro kahido. I'm crying, I'm really lonely. But you're, yeah, I, and it's just plain I'm mm -hmm. uh, lonesome. Yeah, just I can't it's, it's lonesome mm -hmm. or lonely. Okay, so you don't have to add that though in there. No, and no, no, you don't need to unless I speak Kiowa with force, and I'm always putting, but you don't really have to. Oh, come on. I can't hear you. I both can't hear you. I'm always lonesome. I both. Oh, I can't hear you. Oh. Okay. Oh. Awesome. That's when I was cool. when I was at government school, I was Kahindo and I was just eight miles away from Riverside. Oh. And there's Kahin tears when your brother, your sisters, or somebody serving in a war and you don't know what's happening, that loneliness really even when you're out of state, I get lonesome when I'm out of state. I can't wait to get home. Uh -uh. Oh, that's me right now. <laughs> and you can, you can get lonesome for your girlfriend too. Hey, Ba, where are you? Uh, Utah. I am. I am. Oh. Oh. I am. Oh. Yeah. Utah. Where Utah. Are... Okay. Oh. Uh. How y'all peel toe, yeah? Is that you, Ramon? Oh. Oh, hey, I'm the tonto. I said, you're flying. How y'all peel toe, yeah? That's what I was wondering. I Or I, I thought you were asking, uh, when did I fly? <laughs> and so we say when somebody gets in a plane, then. I yell Piotoi. It sounds like you flew. You're the bird. I yell Piotoi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, Carnegie's still here, Amar. <laughs> oh, but there's no Kaiwas out here. <laughs> Are they dancing at Carnegie now? Hanya Haiga. I'm guessing they are. They'll they'll We're post a video about later. <laughs> um Monday. And Haiga no but dope. We're the only ones left. How oh, go. <laughs> oh, it's uh, uh, it it is. Time for dinner. <laughs> yeah. How bike? Oh. Can you put homesick in there? Eight. What is it? Uh, uh, let's see. What was Yacht saying? A key he dog. Or a key saying half past. <laughs> That's a uh, lonesome. Homesick. What, how is it that you said? Uh, um, lonesome is uh, a boat. Like you're missing your house. Oh my, I can't handle. Okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, Ramon got it in there. I can't handle. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we better uh, wrap up since we're over time and let people go eat dinner. <laughs> and and you say, "Hey, go me not tall him." Ha. I mean, I tall him.
Be tall, Hema. <laughs> and Kev, we ate up your, your, we got 10 tacos, you remember, and we ate them up quick. <laughs> Sat in our car and ate them. <laughs> we got 10 of them. She was going to bring half home and <laughs> we ate them up. <laughs> We go well. We ate them up. Nobody else gets them. <laughs> when when do we meet next Saturday? Um. Well, we'll be there in person on Saturday to do the credentialing. Saturday at ten a.m. to two p.m. and then we'll meet again on Zoom on Wednesday next Wednesday. Oh, okay. And then we'll kind of see discuss how it went on Saturday. Um. So let's see, I guess to uh, close us up, um, let's see, um, Ramon, are you able to uh, fade outside? Uh, I am, I'm driving now. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, we don't, oh, it's okay. Nelson, fade outside, if you're able to. Nelson might be working. Oh, I think Nelson's working. Um, Kathy? I don't have one yet. Paul. Oh. Um, Lori? They don't, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> oh. I've lost my paper. <laughs> Just let me say thank you, God. Oh, Doc Keith, for this time together and time for us to practice and study and learn Kiowa. And thank you to the elders for sharing their wisdom with us. May everyone who shows up on Saturday do a good job. May we all be blessed. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Aho. Amen. Aho. Aho. I'll yeah. see you on Saturday. Oh. Good luck with your uh, online uh, practicing, Kathy and Lori. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> All right. Hey, go. 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 H